sad to see the season come to an end, but y'all, it had to happen. <laughs> review of love and hip-hop miami y'all this is the reunion part two before we get into this review y'all already know as always regular church announcements if you have not done so just yet go ahead subscribe to my channel before you leave let me know that you stopped by give me a thumbs up and then make sure your notifications are turned on i pray that everybody out there is staying safe i pray this ooh we ain't got nobody yet you are washing those little hands you are drinking your water and drink your alcohol so you can cure from the inside out. I'm just saying. Y'all, please excuse that humming sound in the background. That is my fan. It's Moscato making Auntie Hotto. I'm trying to knock out these doggone videos so I can get back up to date. I'm just saying. Y'all, a couple other things. Y'all like my lips. Yes, girl. This is from Chocolate Girl. Uh-huh. I love this little lip gloss, y'all. Mm. I've had it on all day. Y'all know that I'm still doing the drive-through testing for that dog on Rona. I have to wear PPE all day, and I have worn this lip gloss, and it has stayed on, y'all. For real. I'm going to put down a coupon code that y'all can use. I'm going to put an information down. Y'all will get 10% off. And they already cheap. 10% off for cheap is extra cheap. Y'all, y'all better get y'all this dog on lip gloss also. Y'all like my shirt? Tracy made it. It says classy with a side of hood. Y'all already know, that's your auntie. And of course, I got my Moscato, and it makes it auntie hotto. Look at the little old glisten, the little old dew on my face. I'm going to make it seem like I tried to do this. I didn't. I'm hot. That's why I got my fan on. Y'all, this last episode or part two of the reunion was good. Of course, I got to see more of my, my hood, hood ratchet rangers. Y'all love, I love my damn ratchet rangers. But look here, let me get into this review, y'all, because I still got maybe one or two more videos to record. So hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. Y'all, so this picks up where it left off last time with Trina doing the absolute most trying to get back there to Nikki Natural. Y'all know Nikki Natural called Trick and Trina the king and queen crabs of Miami. And of course, that set Trina off, y'all. Trina mad as hell. She tries to run back there, get to Nikki Natural. Nikki Natural is sitting there completely unamused. Like, she's like, I, I, I just can't believe you acting like this. Like, this is crazy. You would have thought that Nikki Natural was the one, the mature one that had the sense and not Trina. And it's like, girl, you let this girl piss you off that much. Like you say, somebody who was beneath you and you let that girl piss you off like that. I must say, Trina, that was not your finest moment. Child, Trina goes backstage, takes her little Versace suit off, put a track suit on. She gets off in her car. She ready to go. Bobby had to run out there in his Lady Mae Grace outfit and try to get her to come back into the doggone reunion because she was ready to peace out. Trina was like, ain't no weapon and let no bitches beneath me come at me and disrespect me like that. Y'all already know I'm the queen of goddamn Miami. I'm not going to have this shit. We'll do yada yada yada. I was like, goddamn, Trina, you really let this hoe set you off like this, but for what? For what? You just sat up there and said you don't respect a bitch with braces and kids. I thought that was messed up. That's wrong, because my mama's best friend had braces and kids, and she was cool as hell. I loved her. That was my goddamn girl. Child, here come Bucky trying to give her goddamn two cents with this fake-ass positivity shit, and I'm glad Suki called her ass out. She was like, look here, you ain't on no goddamn positivity shit, because when I was going there with your homegirl, Nikki, a dookie natural, as she calls her, you came and came in with your goddamn two cents. Trina just came with your homegirl. You didn't try to defuse that shit, so what the hell is you goddamn talking about? You know you don't want no goddamn smoke with Trina, and I'm glad she called her goddamn ass out. I'm like, Bucky, sit down somewhere. You're always doing the absolute goddamn most. Child, next up, they got into the whole BAP sword thing about them being at this goddamn country ass bar. Thank God they fired goddamn Alvin's ass because they already know that. Child. 
And then girl Suki said this goddamn nigga Alvin shit it and didn't take no goddamn no, didn't wipe his ass. I said, Suki, why you call that nigga out like that? Said she shit it and she looked in the toilet and wasn't no goddamn tissue in there, but it was still some shit in there. I'm like, well, get a nigga benefit of the doubt. Maybe he got into the shower right afterwards, but that means you got shit on your whole damn washcloth. And you wash it off and you wash your body again. That's nasty too. But I'm thinking too goddamn much into this. They got into this one clip that they didn't show um, when the show aired. It was this one white chick that was in the bar that was basically reciting Hood Brat's, uh, Hood Brat's lyrics. And she said the word nigga. And that set Chameleon and Sookie off. And they got into this whole conversation about the word nigga. Who should use it? Who shouldn't use it? Chameleon is talking about how she felt disrespected. Side note. Did y'all see Chameleon with that goddamn lizard on her chest the whole damn time? What the fuck? I said, what is we doing? You goddamn croc hunter out here? Bitch, what is you doing? Put that damn thing up somewhere for it to do something. It's Rona out here. That thing could be carrying that shit, girl. You don't goddamn know that shit. Don't have that shit on your ass like this. Look here. This is what I feel about the word nigga. If you ain't black, don't say it. Point blank, period. I don't want to hear no conversation about it. And so for all of you sensitive Sally's and your negative Nancy's and your pissy ass Patty's and bothered Barbara's out there, I don't give a damn about your feelings on it. Don't come for me. I ain't sent for you. I said what I said. And I meant what I said. You ain't black, don't say nigga. Moving on from that. Child, next they get into the whole Briscoe situation. This nigga Briscoe was laying it low and spreading it wide. Child, Cello was up there. I spit like a motherfucker. I'm sorry, this shit is good. Cello, his baby mama is up there, right? So they up there talking and like she hyping him up saying, you know, since he's gotten out of prison... You know, he's a changed guy. He done got some weight on him. Now he's more sensitive. He's more caring. He's talking about he's working on his relationship. He wants to get his family back. whoop de whoop Yada, 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 right? This whole time, Chameleon is backstage with Kendall. Look like she got some tea, bitch. Kendall say, um, so what's going on? Like, bitch, you looking kind of heated. Tell me what's going on. Child, uh, she say, she's sitting up here looking at this nigga basically full of shit. Talking all this yin yang shit, right? So she was like, Kendall says to Chameleon, okay, so was y'all using condoms? Like, what the hell going on? Chameleon kind of paused, right? Girl, next thing you know, um, this goddamn Claudia ass, Claudia, y'all already know Claudia Jordan is the um the host. She pulls up this clip with Briscoe and goddamn Chameleon kissing. This when he grabbed her. Woo! Let me stop. Anyways. Pulled up that video of them kissing. They end up bringing Chameleon out. Cello didn't know nothing about this. Cello start going upside this nigga head. Kendall like, um, Chameleon, tell him what you had to tell me in the back back there. Chameleon say her period ain't come down. So now she probably pregnant, which let me give y'all some tea. I was on Instagram earlier. Chameleon actually put a video up on her Instagram where she said she was pregnant. She no longer is. She exercised her right as she can do. Uh, Pro-choice all dog on day. She exercised her right. She is no longer pregnant anymore. So she was pregnant, I guess, whatever at that time. Child, next thing you know, tell her like, uh-uh, this nigga right here, he lied, this, that, and the other. Miami Tip gonna come out the side and was like, yeah, he told me the same thing. That he told her that he was just there trying to help you out with the kids. That y'all ain't together. And that y'all just cool. Claudia said, wait a minute, Tip. You was fucking this nigga too? Miami say, yup. I say, god damn. But did y'all catch when Suki say, no, it's like three, four other girls too. I say, damn, Briscoe. Cello is pissed. She's embarrassed. She's heartbroken. Like, nigga, you made her look stupid out here. No, you didn't. You didn't make her look stupid out here. I'm sure she felt stupid because she was believing everything that she was saying. Meanwhile, you out here screwing with everybody. Briscoe, I rooted for you. I have faith in you, nigga. Child, next 
to get into the whole Trick Daddy situation with his arrest. Y'all look here. Long story short about Trick Daddy, this nigga ain't finna change up his ways. He said he not finna change his eating. He not finna take no goddamn medication. Like he said, he might be pregnant. And he don't want to take nothing that's going to mess up his goddamn pregnancy. He says he smokes regular rap of weed now. And he drinks plenty of water. He said he ain't smoking bump no more. Which was cocaine and weed. Child. This goddamn trick daddy is a hard-headed old school nigga. And ain't nobody going to change that about him. Point blank period. Child, they got into the whole um, thing with him and Joy. He said that he knew it was the bad sign about him and Joy. At the wedding, a fight broke out, police came, helicopters, dogs, all this goddamn bullshit. But Trina says that they can't live with each other. They can't live without each other. They just going to have to try to work on it. Trick Daddy say he will be there behind Joy literally and figuratively every step of the way. I hope they can work on their relationship because I like them together. I think they are funny as hell. And um, don't nobody else want this goddamn ass. Child, we get off into the whole hood brat. How she hustling for her niece and her nephew. We already know that. Um, Trick Daddy say that he knows what it's like for females to get out there and hustle. And he's proud of hood brat. Trick Daddy said his mama had 10 baby daddies. I said, damn. Whoo, that's a lot of goddamn baby daddies. That's a lot of motherfucking headaches. But Trick Daddy say he know the struggle. And that, you know, he rocks with, with hood brat. And I like that about hood brat. Now, Bobby messy ass gonna say, yeah, ask Nikki how it is to struggle. She got kids, too. Being messy as hell. Bobby was getting on my goddamn nerves. Nikki was like, look here, I can't relate because uh, all three of my baby daddies. Well, she didn't say I can't relate. She was just like, look here, you know, I don't have to struggle. All three of my baby daddies take care of my sons. And so, it is what it is. Bobby messy ass. Oh, basically what she's saying is um, she don't know that struggle that her baby daddy is here for her. Basically, that's what she's saying. Bobby was just being messy. And I was glad that Trick Daddy called his ass out. He was like, look here, Bobby. Let the females talk. Let them talk. Like, you you can lady make lights. Sit down over there and mind your goddamn neck. He was just doing the most. He was getting on my goddamn nerves. And last girl, they started talking about Sukiana, the whole brown girl brunch. Why didn't she invite Nikki? You know that they had issues with Nikki, that whole thing right there. And um, Suki was just basically saying how she was happy that she got the opportunity to be on the show. She was the breakout star. She gets paid to talk about Suki with the good cookie. And you know what, y'all? We wish her well. We wish her the best. And y'all, this episode ended from there. I thought this season of Love & Hip Hop Miami was good. I actually thought this was the best season so far. Damn show better than the last one and better than that one before. Y'all already know if it was anything that I missed, drop it down below and let me know. I appreciate y'all for going on this ride with me. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Elbow bump.